All right, so I'm Marcus Trice, and I'm doing uh, a week four reflection assignment for FTT 1146176, custom Kydex. Uh, and the question is, summarize the process of completing a retention device, making sure you address the following steps. And, um, and I have the um, finished holster here. Uh, I've already done a, a video in reference to putting this together and, and, uh, and completing it. But it says creating the press. Um, that was actually kind of fun, creating the press. Uh, I, I did have a little bit of a problem with uh, lining up the two um, the three quarters inch plywood once the foam was in it and it wanted to push it out. Um, planning and design. That was, I think, the hardest thing was trying to come up with a design. I knew I wanted a, a taco, and then I, I was thinking that I would have a loop, um, some sort of looping mechanism here, but then once I got or looked deeper into the kit, I realized that that was not gonna be possible and it had to be two belt loops here. But I, I, I wanted to go instead with the, the plastic after that. So, um, and then the hard thing was, is you know, coming up with that taco design. Where do you cut it, right? Like, how far do you come down? I knew that I wanted to have enough covered where I, I wasn't hitting the magazine release and I wanted to have the trigger covered, but with able and it, it, but still able to come down and be able to grab the firearm and pull it out, right? So now there's a little bit of, there's quite a bit of tension. Well, I would say quite a bit, but there's a fair amount of tension in there now, now that I've put in this uh, tension screw. Um, and that's what's interesting. I, I, I felt like uh, there was a little lack of instruction on, on, on the um, uh, retention screw. It says construction of the mold. Um, obviously the mold is part of the, the, uh, the press with the foam. Um, pressing and heating your design. I had some issues. <laughs> I, had a couple of, I had to do it a couple of times. So um, the issue is um, with the mold, um, as you close it over, right, um, something when the pressure would scoot over the gun. And so then you end up with the gun running this way and then the edge of it going this way. And I couldn't quite figure out um, how to get this closer over to here. And I ended up doing it three times. So, um, and then uh, it says in here, uh, uh, pressing and heating your design. So that was the problem. Um, and then also, you know, um, how much of it do you um, fold over? Uh, it seems silly, but you know, I try to make it an equal amount. Then when you're folding it over, the top part wanted to uh, cant down and the under part wanted to uh, go the other direction. So it was kind of hard to kind of clamshell it uh, evenly. And then hence, then you end up with this little extra bit right here. Um, says uh, finishing procedures. So the finishing procedures, I didn't polish the um, edges. I just used the sander and I, I actually kind of like it. I like the rough look because it, it matches the texture on here. And so I was able to, to match them up and, and sand it. Um, I actually really like the, the, the finished look. Uh, what was the most challenging part of the process and why? What will you do differently next time to mitigate the challenge? Again, the challenge was trying to line up this uh, taco and having this um, come more over towards this edge. And then this retention bowl, I didn't know which ones to use. Um, and so I, I did use this. I'm gonna probably do more research on the retention. Uh, you could probably use two, but I, I made this a little small over here deliberately, so I didn't want too much in my, um, my pants. <laughs> Um, so you could have prob I could have probably put another one here, but I want to do a little bit more research on, on the retention and then also this back clip setup. Do I take, do I put the, the rubber inside or do I put it on the inside inside? Then um, is it doable to put um, like some sort of uh, double side or single sided stick or sticky uh, um, uh, sort of material to kind of cover up those uh, bolts. Um, yeah. it says, refer back to discussion submission week one and in two or three sentences, how would you revise your reflection on your personal experience with retention devices to include your understanding of building a custom made device? Um, 
I, I, <laughs> I, I really am not a big, uh, or haven't been a big Kydex um, person. Um, I've always used leather. Um, and I have a couple of Kydex um, um, holsters here, but nothing like this, like uh, almost custom. Uh, so I was kind of apprehensive about uh, going and making a Kydex holster and feeling confident with it compared to a, a leather holster. But I, I gotta tell you, I, I'm pretty impressed with myself for coming up with this holster and, and actually making it and, and it works. And I wore it today and it worked. <laughs> so I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'm, I'm gonna wear this uh, firearm um, with this holster with, with pride, knowing that I did it. Um, and, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna try to do a, a couple more, so. Um, I think that's it. Uh, creating the press was, was relatively easy. The planning and design, um, I think it, in anything, you, you always have to make sure that you have a, some other kind of backup plan. And that's what I did. I had a bit of a backup, backup plan. And then uh, constructing um, the mold, um, which I'm assuming, you know, with the foam. The foam doesn't stick to the wood, um, but you just have to kind of line it up and then put it on and then clamp it down hard. And then pressing and heating your design. Um, other than the, the firearm uh, moving around, I think it went pretty well. And, and I was really excited to be able to use the Kydex uh, heat it three times, so. Um, and then again, we'll go right, uh, the finishing procedures. I was, I cut it with the Dremel and then I sanded it with the Dremel and, and I mean, I, I think you could probably polish it and give it that, that nice polished edge, but I don't like it. I like the, the, the matte finish edge. I think it looks better and matches what, what you already have. Um, and again, the most challenging part I think was, was lining it up in the mold, so. Anyway, so it's been a very uh, interesting class and I'm glad that I had the opportunity to uh, do this class and make this and have a, an actual final finished product for the end. Thank you very much. Thank you.